anchor of Special Report, joins us. Broke a lot of news on this last evening. Brett, good morning to you. Good to have you with us morning, this morning. Um, I, I want to actually start by going back to Jim Comey's testimony in front of Congress. After he made the press, did the press conference on July 5th of this summer, this past summer, uh, he then said he wanted to further explain and go before Congress. Uh, Jason Chaffetz, the congressman, asked him a very pointed question, and I'd like to play that for everybody now. Did you look at the Clinton Foundation? I'm not going to comment on the existence or non-existence of any other investigations. Was the Clinton Foundation tied into this investigation? Yeah, I'm not going to answer that. We all remember that moment, Brett, and now we know that that investigation was very much underway. Yeah, Martha, it never stopped, according to two sources intimately familiar with um, the inner workings of, of this investigation, not only the classified email investigation headed up by the National Security Division, uh, but the Clinton Foundation investigation headed up by the right, White Collar Crimes Division of Public Corruption. Um, a couple of things. One is there is an internal battle inside, not only between the FBI and the DOJ, over this investigation, but even inside the FBI. It was detailed in a uh, Wall Street Journal piece uh, today. We can confirm a lot of that. Um, but I will tell you that for inside the, in the investigation itself, there is a high confidence that they have a lot of evidence. The evidence continues, according to our sources, to come in every day, not just by WikiLeaks, but also by the other avenues that they are doing, multiple interviews several times. Uh, and also these new emails, Martha. You have the Anthony Weiner computer, and then we've confirmed, and Catherine Herridge has another source on this, that the Cheryl Mills and Heather Samuelson uh, computers that were part of an immunity deal that originally were thought to have been destroyed by the FBI as part of that deal were never destroyed, and that they are now at the Washington field office of the FBI. So they have a lot of avenues to look for different elements of evidence. Okay. Uh the FBI sources that you spoke with suggest that an indictment is likely that would now, prove... Now, I, I want to be clear. I want to be clear about this. And, and this was, came from a Q&A that I did with Britt Hume after my show and after we went through everything. He asked me uh, if, uh, after the election, if Hillary Clinton wins, will this investigation continue? And I said, yes, absolutely. I pressed uh, these sources again and again what would happen. I got to the end of that and said, you know, they have a lot of evidence that would likely lead to an indictment. But that's not, that's inartfully answered. That's not the process. That's not how you do it. You have to have a prosecutor. Uh, if they don't move forward with a prosecutor with the DOJ, there would be, I'm told, a very public call for an independent prosecutor uh, to move forward. There is confidence in the evidence, but for me to phrase it like I did, of course that got picked up everywhere, um, but the process is, is different uh, than that. Gotcha. Um, in terms of Anthony Weiner's laptop, the revelation there, because the pushback from the Clinton campaign has been, you know, oh, these are probably things that everybody already saw anyway, that they're just duplicates. What did you find out about that? Yeah, they are combing through this, and uh, Catherine Harris has reported this as well, and uh, using a lot of technology. They have found uh, hits, new hits in the emails that they believe are new emails, in other words, not du duplicates, uh, that were on Hillary Clinton's server. Also on the hacking of the server, um, that is interesting because there is a high, high confidence that uh, foreign intelligence agencies, several of them, up to five actually, have uh, managed to hack into that private server. That is not a new uh, feeling inside the FBI or in the intelligence community, actually. If you go back to July, there was a big New York Times piece about um, the uh, experts believe it was hacked. Comey said at the time that it was possible uh, that they that foreign actors got into the computer, hostile actors. Um, he also then said, so shortly after that, hostile actors did gain access to private commercial email accounts of people whom Secretary Clinton was in regular contact. And then he went on to congressional testimony to say that the server had less security than the average Gmail account. That's right. um, so these sources are saying he, he probably at the beginning should have said a probability that it happened mm -hmm. or, ev or even 
almost certainty that it happened at some level. Do, do the investigators believe that they have evidence of pay for play? That, that's the main question here. Yeah, I think they, they believe that they have a lot of evidence. But as in any case, you have to build the evidence, and it continues to come in. You eventually have to get some people to sign on or cooperate uh, and testify. So this is all building evidence to a case that has to be made by a prosecutor. And uh, that's why the, the jumping to likely indictment, they are going to continue to push for an indictment. Uh, and that's what I should have said. But the, there is a confidence of the evidence that's coming in on this case. Bottom line is, if anybody says the Clinton Foundation investigation is over, it's not. It's wide. It's, it's widespread. Four different FBI offices have taken part in it. Uh, it is aggressively being pursued. There is a battle, however, inside the FBI and between the FBI and the DOJ. What a story. Brett, thank you very much.